Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. Welcome into Sports Mag News. I'm Pro Joe, aka Joe Board. Please follow me on here. Like, comment, and subscribe. Trying to hit 125 by next week. And on Twitter, if you want to talk some great hockey, baseball, whatever sport action, at JJ Bork 26. And follow the Steel Flyers crew at Steel Flyers 52 on Twitter and Steel Flyers. If you search that on YouTube, you'll find it as well as Off the Wall Hockey, Prelo Wisdom, Payton on the Radio. And um, Flyers Nitty Gritty as well. If you search that on YouTube, you'll find that. But this is going to be a quick preview to the New York Islanders and Philadelphia Flyers game. Our Flyers are obviously in a rut. Uh, they played absolutely terrible against Washington this month and only beat Buffalo in between there. Lost the three-game series with just a game against Buffalo in between two of those games there. And then had a game that they... Should have beat the Rangers a little bit easier in that 5-4 to four game. Uh, then got shellacked by the Rangers, bounced back 4-3 to three in a game that I just was not, had nothing I really had to say, which is the same with this video. I thought they would, uh, after a day off, maybe look good after bouncing back 4-3 to three after being the Islanders. It was the exact opposite. They looked like absolute crap on Saturday. Again, Prosser cannot consistently uh, be in this lineup. Nate Prosser, that is. Uh, he definitely needs to um, come out of the lineup and... Um, Put Ghost in, put somebody in, um, call somebody up uh, until you trade for somebody. Because obviously the underlining thing is the Flyers obviously need to trade for defense, but that's not happening yet. So I would say uh, you definitely have to change something up there. You cannot consistently put him in. It seems like Ghost might be in tonight. That would be a good thing if he is. Um, if Couturier's in, it seems like you might end up taking Carson Trawinski out. I feel like... You might want to think about maybe, I don't know who else you would remove, but against an Islanders team that does bring the physical thump a little bit good, I think you might want to think about keeping someone like Carson in, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. Anybody can consider that wrong, but in my opinion, I just think against an Islanders team, you want to keep one of your physical forwards in, in Carson Trewinski. In my opinion, I think bringing in a ghost that can pass the puck a little bit more efficiently and work out a little bit better, maybe try to put him back with Provy, uh, put Sanheim and Braun, and uh, if they're going to do that, that's what it says here on Cap Friendly, and then Gus and Myers, uh, maybe that'll work, they haven't tried, other than the Ghost and Provy pairing, um, I haven't remembered them really trying Gus and Myers that much, so maybe that can get Gus going to the fullest extent and get Myers going, uh, I'm not too keen on that necessarily working, but you know, I try to stay positive here, maybe that can end up working, but in terms of coming into this game, the Flyers just need to get their heads out of their rear ends, I mean, they have a good performance, and then perform very terribly. Um, obviously, the week of the 7th to the 13th, it was three bad performances with one uh, fought game that they really was a mediocre win against Buffalo. I mean, a win's a win, but it was a win you really had to fight when you should have been able to beat Buffalo easier. Same with the Rangers. By the same score, he beat them 5-4, to four, then got smoked. I mean, coming into this game, I think obviously the keys for the Flyers are you need, and the key word is need to, protect your goaltending better. Um, it is just absolutely asinine how this team is playing in front of their goaltenders. If they could protect their goaltenders better at all, they would be in a much better position defensive-wise. So maybe if you um, change the lines up a little bit, or if you put Gus with Braun, uh, like the lineups are in here compared to a calf friendly and keep Sandheim and Meyer... Um, I still think maybe uh, you want to try to mix those up since that hasn't been working and try to do something else there. But there's only so much AV can do when Fletcher hasn't made a move to get defense yet. It seems like Moose is going to be starting tonight according to this, uh, where Lyon might be the backup. Um, so if that's the case, good for Lyon getting the chance to be the backup tonight. And Moose getting the start. Uh, I think uh, he's been our stabilizer in the past since Brian Elliott's come here. When we've been in a funk, he's been a guy that stabilized us at times. And that's exactly what we're going to need from him tonight. We're going to need Brian Elliott to come in and stabilize his team, make the big saves that we know Moose can make and really get going here. Uh, we're going to need, when I looked into Raffles numbers more, I take back uh, him struggling a little bit defensively. He looks very good in inner defensive numbers. Plus minus is more of a team stat, but inner numbers, uh, I didn't think he looked as good. And then when I really looked at it, uh, that's not as much the case. Albany Kubel is more the one that stepped down in that category where I think the reason we thought so much of getting rid of Pitlick was okay is that energy ball, upshaw type player with a little bit more skill is because we thought Kubel would exactly become that. He's 
going to, I think, in my opinion. It's just taking longer and didn't get there yet, which is why the Flyers are kind of missing that big gap of an energy guy um, in their lower lines. That's kind of like a lower line TK, which is um, what an Aubrey Kubel could develop into, which is even a little bit more to an extremity of being a pest than what Pitlick could be, but it just hasn't got there yet. Um, I think this Flyers team, offensive-wise, they might need to add somebody into their forward core that's physical that I'll get to, and stay tuned for those when I do my Flyers of forward um, trade targets per the divisions as I'm wrapping up the defense ones tomorrow as I do the ones with the East, and I'll start putting out the forward ones then, so please stay tuned for those. I really appreciate your support. But the Flyers' offense has been doing fine scoring-wise. Their forwards have to do better defense-wise, though, other than obviously the Couturier's of the world, the Fairbies of the world, and actually JVR, who's probably been our best forward all year, along with Joel Fairby carrying that forward core. They need to do better consistently on defense to be able to help their struggling defense core. It's kind of a two-way street. If your forwards aren't playing good defense, unless if your defense is a world-beating defense in the league, which the Flyers obviously isn't, you're not going to really be able to make up for your forwards not picking guys up up the ice. So then you have guys open behind the play, you guys you guys open on the side of the net. Like There's just all these different laps in coverage and by the Flyers this year, and it's just getting overly annoying. They really have to close that in and close that down in any way, shape, or form. They're able to do it. I think it's going to take trades. But for now, you have to find a mojo and a motto and a scheme as well as roster structure instead of continuing to move people around. That's going to work until you make those trades. Continuing to move people around into the same similar um, way that of playing is not really going to change anything. I think it's a good way of saying that, and that's kind of what the Flyers been doing, so I think they got to change it up a little bit. If it's me, I would keep Carson Trewinski in against an Islanders team. Um, he played 13 minutes in the one game, and I think that's because he does bring that physicality. AV sees that, so I don't know why you would take him out when you kind of have an Islanders lineup that's going to bring that spunk and try to bring that funk to you, so... That's a little bit questionable to me if that is what becomes the case. But if he stays in, I agree with it. If he comes out, I don't necessarily agree with that. But that is what it is. I think Moose is going to have a good bounce back game for us tonight. I'm not too high on predicting where the Flyers are going to go with this game. Um, I think it will be a lower scoring affair. So I'll go 3-2. to two, And I just don't have faith um, in how we bounce back from performing after a day off compared to the back-to-back before. But um, I'll go 3-2. I think the Isles will honestly win in OT. The Flyers might be able to push it to OT, and unfortunately the Isles are going to be able to beat us in OT. I just don't see, uh, until last game we had the Islanders number this year, then finally they got the best of us, which they had all of last year in the postseason for the most part. So I really see this going in the wrong direction rather than the right direction. Hopefully I'm proven wrong again um, in terms of the score prediction um, at, like I was last week when the Flyers beat the Islanders 4-3, but I'm going to go 3-2 law to the Islanders in overtime. I just haven't seen enough from this team to predict them to be able to win, especially if the game gets to overtime. Like I think because of Moose primarily they'll be able to get to tonight but the Islanders attack is going to be able to attack their defense early on at a three on three level and be able to get a win I think so that's why I would be three two aisles in overtime but I hope you all enjoyed this prediction video and also a preview video to the New York Islanders and Philadelphia Flyers at 7 p.m. tonight the Flyers got to get their heads out of their butt and really get going sooner rather than later and make trades to fit the team and fix the team. Make trades to fit the team and fix the team. Do it sooner rather than later. This has been a Philadelphia Flyers preview to the Flyers and New York Islanders game at 7 p.m. tonight. I hope you all enjoyed the Sports Fan News. I'm Pro Joe, a.k.a. Joe Borg. Follow me at JJBorg26 on Twitter. And please like, comment, and subscribe on here. I really appreciate your support. Trying to hit 125 by the end of this week. I really appreciate it. And enjoy all the great hockey action. And stay safe out there, everybody. Peace out.